Uh, make sure you make a solid we're going to call it e3d element 3d hit on ok add your element 3d and uh, create the test now go to element 3d and go to custom layers custom text and marks make sure you select your outro and go to scene setup go to extrude and now go to the extrusion model make sure you're on your own extrusion model go to bevel copies make sure you select three and now let's try and make some settings here go to your preset go to your pressure is two go to metals and let's start with this drop this here drop this here and drop this also here now let's start working on them so the first one i'll go to extrude i'll send it like so the second one too i'll go to extrude and let's go to the third one let's go to z offset so I'll let this one be here and I'll go to extrude like so and go to expand edges I'm going to expand the edges and now let's go to extrude again so for the top one here I'll go for this metal here and for this I'll change it to something like so and now let's change the color here so I'll go to the first one and so now let's start changing this i'll give the color for this uh this and i'll go to the top one and i'm going to change the color here and i'll hit on ok and let's turn off our layer for the test and all we have to do is start some animation so now i'm going to your group one go to particle looks go to uh, particle size make a keyframe go to multi object and it on go to x rotation make a keyframe go to uh, rotation random keyframe displays keyframes hit you send your keyframes to the end here now let's start making some changes go to the x rotation while going like so and go to rotation random so we'll go for something like so we'll go for something like so and we'll go to our we'll go to our displays send the displacement here and go to the last keyframe increase the displacement and now highlight all your keyframe go to the end and go to your particle size drop it down like so now select all your keyframe easy ease go to your graph make sure you make something like so go to your render settings go to go to render settings go to lighting make sure you choose 360 so right now what we have to do is now add some lights so right click go to new go to light make sure you select spotlight and hit on ok so for this i'll turn this one here like so and duplicate this ctrl d Move it like so here. We are going to also change the color to something like so. And now make sure you make a large duplicate, Control D, send it to the top, and change the color to something white. And reduce the intensity. So you can see from here so now all we have to do is start making our our lighting so you select this go to out pen to make some shapes
and now let's move this to the under the element 3d and with this now go to your content and go to add i'm going to add a trim part but in 2025 i'm not going to do that so download this uh, script it's called trim pack just go to any out if i click this and see you are getting a cool animation like so here but it's very fast so select all your keyframes hold alt and drag your keyframes and you can see so bring it back just as like this this is very slow bring it back again i'm going to make another one like so going so now drop it to below our outro and also do the same thing you can select all the keyframes ctrl c and paste it here ctrl v hit u to bring your keyframes and you can see by getting something like so so you can see from here so now all you have to do is select select all our shapes recompose so now add deep glow So now all you have to do is add our background so i'll go into the video i'm going to select some portion I'll just drag it into your project and add right on in the color to something reddish and add caves Add another caves So you can add more of this background to this to spice up the edit hope you like this video you give me a comment and you subscribe to my channel so guys i'm going to see you in my next video peace